Yeah, in, in this age of social media, the normal female development between 11 and 15, the normal female development of in-out groups, ostracization, I like you, I don't like you, all of that, it's really, really normal, but of course now social media makes it, can make it incredibly painful. And uh, so it's one of these things again of what is, what is normal developmentally and the effect that social media is having on what's normal. So it is normal for, for girls at any time, but especially in that age group, to be experimenting with, what they're trying to experiment with is they want to get emotionally to hear, they want to learn how to create boundaries. And um, girls are driven by many hormones, but a very active hormone is oxytocin, which is a bonding chemical. So oxytocin has a light side, which is it helps females bond. And so as everyone who's awake knows, females like to bond, you know. But the dark side of it is they, they bond and then they, get, they merge. And when they merge, that's really uncomfortable for building a self. You have to be somewhat separate. You have to have boundaries. So they get really close in these dyads and triads, these twos and threes. They get really, really close and they get two merged. And then the psyche basically is saying, okay, you have to separate. So they kick someone out or they leave someone out. And they're, what they're learning over a period of really 10 years it takes of adolescence, um, but especially in that, those five years, they're learning what that feels like, is it right? Is it wrong? Should they have done it? Should they not do it? Because they're, they're trying to figure out how to get boundaries. And that's, that's the journey they're on. So um, uh, these emotional boundaries. So then social media comes into it and social media can make it way, way worse. It makes it better in that they have a lot more relationships, but, uh, which they like, but it makes it worse because, because they can really mess with another girl's mind and it can be so painful for that other girl. So whereas they would only have done it 100 years ago by just looking at her askance at school, now they can do it through likes and dislikes and friends and not friending and unfriending and all of that. So it is normal, it's within the journey of female development, but is it dangerous and painful? It can be sometimes dangerous and painful. So if parents are seeing that their girl is constantly being ostracized, then I would get right on that and talk to her. Why, what are you doing? In what way, is this the right group for you? You know, can we help you find another group based on your interests rather than these two popular people? You know, all of those dialogues because these people who are doing this to her may keep doing it to her because they're figuring out their own stuff.